Hey guys and welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. In today's video we're going to be going over how to package and export your games from Unreal to then distribute to anywhere you like, so it could be Itch.io, Steam, just your friends and family or just for you, for a uni project, whatever it is that you want, I'm going to be going over how to package and export your project. So let's get right into it. So what we want to do first is we actually want to build the project and by that I don't mean actually creating it. When you create a game you want to build it which is what this build button up here does. So the main thing this is for is lighting. So you'll notice over here where I've just set up some different stuff so I actually have things to build in my game. You'll notice that it says preview on the wall. Now a lot of people ask why it says preview. That's just because you've got the preview lighting. You actually need to build the lighting to fix this. So that's very simple. We can go up to build here and you can just press build and that will then build the whole game. But what I like to do is build the lighting and then build everything just because that way the lighting needs to be built before anything else anyway otherwise you'll get some errors so I just prefer to do that way. So we're going to press our drop down menu next to build, go to lighting quality and you'll see it says preview. Now you can change this to whatever you like so it can be preview, medium, high or production. I'm just going to go for medium. Again you can choose whichever you like. You can go to lighting info there and you can have a look at all this and change it to what you want but you really don't need to mess about with that. Then we can just press build lighting only. Now you'll notice that it's building the lighting again, that's why I've just put some stuff in here. Now this may take a little while for you depending on how good your computer is and obviously how much you have in your game. However it shouldn't take too long and it's always the first time you do it, it always takes a lot longer. So as I've only got three lights in my level, it shouldn't take too long. It would be a lot quicker if I had a better PC but you can already see that it's going up fairly quickly. So I will be back with you once it's finished. And here we are, it is now finished lighting build completed and you'll notice that the lighting has actually changed so it looks a lot nicer now and the preview text has also gone. So the lighting itself looks a lot lot nicer and it no longer says preview. One thing to also keep in mind is when you build the lighting it will most commonly get a lot darker in your level so you'll probably need to add more lights in and then obviously build it again because you've added in more lights but really you just need to mess about with it and get it perfect for you. And I should also mention that I said obviously the better your PC the quicker it build. The main thing for building is RAM. So the more RAM you have, the quicker it will be. Obviously the CPU does play into that as well. Not so much the GPU. The CPU does, but the main thing is the RAM. And I currently have 16 gigabytes of RAM. So once you've built the lighting, you can then go down and build everything else via this list here, which I used to prefer to do that. However, nowadays I just prefer to press build after doing the lighting. So we can now press build and that's gonna do everything. It will do the lighting again as well, but again, you might sometimes get some errors if you haven't built the lighting already. It should fix it, but you know, it's always just nicer to do this anyway. So again, same thing with the lighting. It will take a little bit of time depending on the size of your project and how good your PC is. So again, once I've finished building this for my project, I'll get back to you. So that should be it now done. I've now built my project again because I didn't really have anything else in here to build. For example, nav meshes, geometry, anything. The main thing is just the lighting, but again, it'll be different for each project. So once we've now built everything, we want to set up our settings for packaging. So to do that, we can go to Edit, Project Settings. Now the first thing we want to do is go to Maps and Modes. Well actually, no, let's start with Description. So this description here, you'll just want to set this up to be what it is. So obviously the project thumbnail, description of the game, project name, project version, all this stuff. So you probably want to change the project version every time you release an update or you repackage it. I'm just going to leave it as one and obviously the publishing and legal and all that stuff you'd want to set up. Next we'll go down to maps and modes. Now a lot of this stuff I imagine you will have probably already done as you're creating your game, but just in case you haven't, you want to set the default game mode. The editor startup map isn't important for packaging, that's just the map which automatically loads when you start up the engine. The game default map however is very important, so this is the map which will load when you load up your game. So if you have a separate main menu level, you will want to put that in here, if you just want it to be your level 1, put that in here. This is a level which loads up when you start the game, so this is very important to get correct. As I only have one level in here, I'm going to leave it as the third person example map. Then obviously the multiplayer and the game instance, but again you'll probably change that as you've been creating your project. Next we'll go down to movies, and you can obviously tick these for what you want, so wait for movies to complete, movies are skippable, obviously makes sense and the starter movie, so this is where you can put a splash screen at the beginning of your game, so when the game loads up it will play this movie here. I do have separate videos going over that if you'd like to see that in more detail. 
Next, the important one is packaging, and this is where we're going to really be doing the majority of the work. So this has changed a little bit since the last time I made the video, hence why I'm doing it again. So you don't really need to change any of this, you can obviously read it if you want, but you don't need to change it. If we go under project here, this is the important one. The build, if project has code or running a locally built editor, always, never, if running a locally built editor, change that to what you want, that just again means if it's going to build. I personally just leave it as it is as default, and that's fine. The build configuration, you can have as either development, test, or shipping. Now since I last did this one, the test is actually new, and also we've got debug, sorry I missed that one. The debug build configuration is what you'd think it is, it's for you to be able to debug the game, so you can build it like this, and that way you can actually see what the bugs are, see what changes you made in your code if you input a correct debug console command and all the stuff like that. Development is good if let's say you haven't completely finished your game yet, so if it's still not fully finished, it's still obviously in development phase, that's what you go for. And if you want to be able to use console commands in your game, whether that's the player using them or you're using them in the code, it will have to be development because in shipping, which I'm going to go on to soon, the console command is disabled so you can no longer use it and that's both the player and the code. The test configuration is the shipping configuration but with some console commands and stats. So if it's not quite development but you still want the console command, I'd recommend going for test. And shipping is the one that's most commonly used with games. That's when everything is done, you no longer want the console command, everything is fully fleshed out. So this still could be an early access version of the game but what you have so far is completely built so you'd want it to be shipping. That's what I'm going to go with because again that is the most common one and it's really the best one as well that you'd want to use. Now the build target, what you can do is you can either leave it empty, write editor, client or server and that will give you different options similar to the build configuration. So leaving it as empty will just do it in a normal standalone version of the project. Editor allows you to obviously see all the code changes reflected which is good for the debugging configuration. The client is obviously a multiplayer game where you're the client and server is multiplayer as the server. Now I believe this is just for testing though so you will not need to do that if you're actually creating a multiplayer game because obviously then you need to ship out different versions of the game to different people so really you don't need to worry about that. The staging directory is obviously the directory to which the package project will be copied so if you want to be somewhere different just put that in there by clicking these three dots there. Full rebuild is just if you want to rebuild the game as you're packaging it which we've already done we've already built it again I prefer to build it before packaging just in case there's any errors you already have it sorted before you try to package. For distribution is again really the shipping thing we did up here so obviously if we hover over it it will say a distribution build will be created and the shipping configuration will be used if disabled a development build will be created so again it's essentially just a build configuration here so I'm going to tick for distribution. Include debug files again it's important if you're doing debug so if that's what you're going for if this is just to debug the game obviously include those files. Then there's nothing really else important on the main selections we need to do here However, under packaging, if we press this little arrow here to show the advanced, we do want to change some stuff here. So you've got the languages, you've got loads of different options, but the main one we're going for is we're going to cook only maps, tick that, and that will just make it a lot quicker and more efficient, especially for the lighting and all that great stuff. So that will be quicker packaging times, quicker loading times, and all that great stuff which you'd want. And if you do click that, what you want to do is you want to make sure you do actually include them in the list of maps to include in a package build. So if we hit the plus array element there, press the three dots, and we can now locate this map. So it should already take you to your projects folder, and then just locate the map. So for me, that's third person VP, maps, third person example map, and you want to do the .u map, not the .u asset. So don't do the build data, do the map. And you can see we now have the map included there. Again, I obviously only have one map to include, but just do all the ones which you have. And if you also have movies, you want to make sure you include them in the specific movies to package, otherwise they won't be in the game. And that's the main things we need to do here. Next we'll go down to supported platforms, and you can tick which platform you want this to be on. So I don't want it to be on all platforms, I only want it to be on Windows, and I'm just going to go with Windows 64-bit, not 32. You can obviously choose which ones you'd prefer to use. Again, previously when I did this video, it was just Windows, not 3264, so they've now changed it, so I'm just going with 64-bit. Then the target hardware is obviously, this is kind of what you use when you first created the project. I still want it to be desktop console, and I still want it to be maximum quality. Next, we're gonna go scroll all the way down until we see platforms, and you can just change the settings for the platforms which you chose. So you can do Android, iOS, all this stuff, but I only chose Windows, so you can change these settings in here. 
Now, I don't actually have anything I do want to change. The main thing in here which you might want is just the splash screen and the icon. So the splash screen is different to what I mentioned earlier. When I mentioned it earlier, I meant the video which plays up. This is the kind of the loading thing which comes up, so you'll notice it, especially when you start up the editor. So you can change this to be custom icons here, and especially the game icon too. So that will appear at the bottom. As you can see here, all these different icons would be different for this game icon. So I do have a separate video going over creating these perfectly and importing them in and using them and all that great stuff. So if you want to watch that, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. And that is all we need to do for the settings. So you can obviously read through all of these if you want, but those are the main ones which you're going to need to change. So we'll close this, and now we'll actually export it. So I'm just going to save my project first, then go to File, Package Project. You'll notice the exclamation mark here because it's not targeted towards those platforms. So we're going to go to Windows 64 bit, and we're just going to package it. Now you can see this is where we're going to choose to package it. I'm just going to do it here. This is just the main folder for my project. So I'm going to select folder, and it is now packaging. Now, as with the building, this will take a while, especially on the first run. Again, dependent on the project size and your computer, but it always takes a lot longer on the first go through. So in one of my previous Game Jam games I made, which obviously is a Game Jam, so it's fairly small. However, it took about 10 minutes to package the first time around. Then every time after that I packaged it, it always did it within less than a minute. As you can see there, it's just finished. I did no cuts there. But again, it takes a lot longer the first time, then every time after that it's a lot, lot quicker. So don't worry if it takes ages, the next time it shouldn't take as long, but you'll notice we've now exported it. So if I were to open this up, you should see we now have a package game working perfectly. So let me just find this and open it up. So you'll notice here I'm in my project folder, and you'll see we now will have Windows No Editor and Packaging.exe. Obviously I didn't change the name of it, I didn't change the icon, but that is where it would be for you. So if we open this up straight away here, what you should see is we now have our game, which we can load up as an actual game instead of an engine project. Here we are, it's loaded up, and you can see this is what we just had. So we've got our boxes over here with the lights, no preview text, none of that. Obviously Nvidia GeForce has come up because it's detected this as an actual game now. And so obviously anything you would have done in your game would be in here. I haven't changed anything at all other than this little thing over here in the corner. But the changes would be here as we now have a properly packaged game. And this is in the shipping configuration, so if I press the tilde key, you'll notice the console command isn't coming up. So I think that'll be it for this video, as we've done everything we want to do. What we've done is we've gone over how to package and export your games with all the correct settings, how to build it, and all that great stuff. So sorry if this is a bit of a lengthy video, it is a very quick and easy topic to go over. However, I did want to just go over it in full detail and kind of explain all the different things which you can, which you can change especially for the most efficient way to do this. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.